Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We hope you're all having an amazing day. In our previous video, we flew to Cairns from Sydney and going onto the SkyRail. You could check that link in the description if you wanna see that video. In this video today, we are gonna tell you about our uh, scuba diving and snorkeling experience in the Great Barrier Reef. So this is actually the main reason why we flew to Cairns because we wanted to see the Great Barrier Reefs. When we checked into our hostel, we spoke to the front desk agent and we expressed to him that we wanted to do scuba diving, but we don't have any experience. It will be our first time. So he recommended this company that specializes in first timers like ourselves. So this company is called Passions of Paradise. It's about 240 Australian dollars per person. So that's 162 US dollars. It's not so bad because launch was included, the boat ride, and the scuba gear. So you don't have to worry about it. We booked it and everything was taken care of. Good morning, guys. It's currently 7 o'clock in the morning and we're about to go scuba diving to explore the Great Barrier Reef. I'm excited, I'm nervous, but it's going to be so much fun. I'm yeah. I mean, I literally couldn't even sleep last night because I kept thinking about it. It was crazy. out to the Great Barrier Reef was about two hours and during that time they split us up into different groups and they did a briefing. We just got our scuba diving briefing. We're about 40 minutes out and then we're gonna just dive in. Now there's two different types of briefings. Obviously for us as it's our first time scuba diving they showed us all of the gear, all of the hand signals so that when we are actually in the water we are mentally prepared for what's to come. So after getting that briefing we were able to go into our scuba gear and jump into the water. Now I had the GoPro at the time, but once we got into the water, it was pretty intimidating. So they have like a rope where you have to hold onto and you have all this gear on you and you're floating. And I didn't really want to pay attention to the GoPro at the time because it was our first time diving. So I actually took it off because I wanted to have 100% awareness of every single thing that was going on at the moment. So I actually put the GoPro with one of the staff on the boat. And then that's when we started the second part of the introduction, basically applying everything that we learned in the water this time. So there's two levels of the rope, one kind of like above the, the surface. You go to the second level, which, which was deeper. Mm -hmm. And then from there, that's when you let go of the rope and we go even deeper and that, that was it, where you we couldn't see anything. Yeah. We were holding hands and we were just going down. Yeah. We didn't know where to go. The instructor knew, obviously knew where we were going, so we are just holding on to him. He had his hands like this, his arms like this. Yeah, and we were all holding forming on a line. Yeah, so that was fine. Yeah. When we were going down, I didn't, you could, we couldn't, well, I don't know about you, but I couldn't feel us actually going down, but we went really deep. We were going down about seven meters and every meter or so, you're supposed to equalize your ears. One thing that started happening was that I was having an issue equalizing my ears. So while everyone was continuously kind of like going down, I was kind of blacking out for a couple of seconds and then gaining consciousness when I would go a little bit higher. At this point, we were all kind of like, able to explore. Yeah, he, because he would tell us to go down. I don't know the hand sections, <laughs> the gesture so, anymore. Yeah. yeah, so like to go down so then, you know, he could see everyone and he kept floating higher yeah. than the rest of us. And I, I honestly, I was fine because I kept telling him like, this means that you're okay. And this means like, you want to go, go up. This is not good job. Yeah, it's not okay. <laughs> so he kept asking me, um, am I okay? And I said, over here, I'm okay but if I go down, I'm not okay because of my ears. And he said, 
he, he kept giving me yeah. the signals. So he was just telling me, okay, that's that's fine. Just stay over there. And everyone else was kind of like about two or three meters lower than me. But that it was still was, really like Yeah, I felt so bad. So when we got down, that's when I, I lost it. I loved it. I was flying around because I was literally like doing so many different movements at one point because I was just in the moment so much. I bumped into one of their reef, like I kind of like did this and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> And then I looked up and I saw John just all the way up. And I'm like, oh, what's going on? I got a good view. But, um, but we were down there for about one hour. Was it an hour, right? I it was so like it was about 40 minutes. The whole from getting into the water till getting out of the water was an hour. But actually being under and seeing the reef was 40 minutes. But I mean, that went by so in like 10 minutes. Quickly. It was so it happened so fast. So after we finished the 40 minutes, we began to ascend to the surface. So the instructor would add some oxygen uh, to our flotation device. After everyone got back onto the boat, they drove to a different section of the reef where you could either go back into the water to dive again for an additional $50, or you could go snorkeling, which came with the introductory course. So we got into our snorkeling gear and they gave like these flotations that actually, they're not life jackets, but they're like flotations that go around the waist. So as we were swimming out, they said that if you go like straight forward, you're gonna hit what's considered the wall. And what it really was, was a, a giant wall um, it's, of the Great Barrier Reef. It's a barrier. The great, was... the great Barrier Reef is an actual barrier. Yeah. outside because someone was demanding to walk him our dog <laughs> <laughs> not him That's really good. oh my god <laughs> um, but we wanted to actually just kind of end the video by saying how much we enjoyed scuba diving and we would definitely do it again we definitely would recommend it it's not as it's not as scary as it seems right like when you're under there and you have the tank with the mm -hmm. oxygen like breathing is actually pretty natural yeah and we highly recommend passions of paradise if you ever go to Cannes. so for the next one we head to melbourne if you guys enjoy this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos take care bye jace Oh, <laughs>